What don't they get about the word socialist? Are we just too far removed from bad things in the past? They've had it too good? Well, the meaning of socialism has changed for young people because they don't remember the Cold War. Mm. In the past, people connected in, you know, in the public mind, the concept of socialism was connected with the Soviet Union, with foreign threat, with forced labor camps, political repression, the anti-religious campaigns, um, long lines and poor quality goods and services. Um, and so it, for those reasons, Americans in the past associated with socialism as being a, a, a problem. Whereas for young people, they don't see, they don't connect socialism with the Soviet Union, they connect it with Scandinavia. So we had parents that, and grandparents that lived through the World War II era. We saw the bad in the world. We know what totalitarian regimes are like. Then they continue to explain it, and underneath the umbrella of a Cold War threat, we all kind of got it, right? Yes. And another thing, though, is that Scandinavia actually isn't socialist. And that's what's so funny is that young people today don't know what the word means. They don't know what it meant during the Cold War. They don't know <laughs> what the technical definition is. And so for them, they think of socialism as just being, you know, Scandinavia, which is a, you know, a much bigger uh, social welfare state. Well, yeah, you got tall, blonde haired, blue eyed people. What's wrong with it? It's socialist. You know, but to your point, uh, they don't understand what the word socialism means. Neither does Hillary Clinton, neither does Debbie Wasserman Schultz. They can't even define it. That's right. Um, it, it's something, it, it's interesting because Tea Party supporters are actually the most likely group to be able to accurately define uh, socialism when asked to. So, for instance, um, the, the, the actual definition of socialism is something like government ownership of the means of production. So if you, if you gave some kind, of, some, some kind of definition like that, then you were counted as having defined it accurately according to a CBS New York Times poll. And 57% of Tea Party supporters could answer that correctly. Only 16% of millennials could. And only about, if I remember correctly, about 20% of, of Democrats could, say, could define it correctly. So for whatever reason, Republicans um, have a better understanding as to what socialism is. It's like the more you know what it is, the more you dislike it.